Okay, so since a lot of people wanted a tutorial on this, let me quickly tell you how I draw faces. Let's start off. First of all, if you see this drawing of Mikasa, I made this is like a three quarter views. So I'm just telling you this right now because believe me, it's gonna be it's gonna be important later. So mark my words. Your face is divided into three equal portions. One is for your eyes, then for your nose, and finally for your mouth. And you might add a little bit line like this below it, and that's just stylization and the anime style you are drawing. And it could do, and it does, it could not, it does work for real life faces as well. So while shading or even drawing, you should always divide your face into three layers, like this. Okay, so now that we know that we have to draw faces on three different layers, now I'm gonna discuss the general form here. As much as I know anime characters, they got two eyes, one nose, and one mouth. So let me address all of them for you, starting off with the eyes. Now here's a tip for eyes from me. When you're drawing the eyes, don't just complete one eye and then start on the other. You see what I did here? I didn't even finish one of the eye, I just made them at the same time. That way. I got like the upper lid of it and the upper lid of this the same and if you want this to be even more precise what I recommend you to do is of course make a line like this that is just crucial and then just box them in by boxing them in you can like know their proportions right okay so let's start off with a line out of the eyes I'm gonna do this in real time just so all the art babies out there they know what I'm doing so this starting point here is gonna be like really thin and then it's gonna be like thick from here so you gotta keep that in mind okay and of course as we are drawing Hinata who is a female they got like this eyelashes in there and it could be it couldn't be there like I'm gonna show you so if you see Mikasa you can clearly notice that this part this does have the eyelashes but this part it does not cause it's completely on the perspective you can't see them they are like too far here you can't see them and then one other tip for drawing eyes is that this area I always like to add a little highlight over here like this now just my personal stylization you can add or cannot add this just it just depends on your eye style and the way you want it okay so we got it we got the first eye now here's the shading part here's which I really like where I really like to address draw the pupil of course make it big enough so your character does not seem like a psychopath fill it in uh i know i know anyone watching can tell hinata is clearly going insane at naruto but let's just not consider that right now let me tell you what makes this psychopath hinata into a good wood hinata as we all know her of course we're gonna add the little highlights and then here's one thing draw lines like this that just uh, from this area the outline of the eyes in towards the pupil that's how i eye shade eyes and that's it always works for me so you can just try it and it might just work for you as well and as for me it always works so i'm just gonna use this way so there we go we just shaded the eyes and of course we're gonna add some lines that are a bit darker just for the little details i i add them Okay, so of course you're gonna fill this area in because you don't want it to be empty. Of course your style can depend on this. So I don't know man. Maybe you can add them. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you want to. It's completely up to you. Now apply. Now let's just apply this knowledge that we learned right here into this eye as well. And kaboom. Boom. See that? A second eye right there. So we have applied our knowledge of eyes. And of course, you can't miss the eyebrows. The eyebrows, are, they are pretty self-explanatory. I don't want to explain them at all. You know how to draw uh, eyebrows. And if you don't, I can make a separate tutorial on them. I, although I don't think it's necessary. Alright. Let's just add a nose. Now in anime, here's the fun thing. Now in modern animes, we are completely ignoring the nose. Now that's what I really like. All we have to do is just boom boom 
when a layer shading here now now of course since naruto isn't really uh a modern anime we gotta add a line like right here just so hinata looks hinata like <laughs> just saying it okay now for the mouth uh i think i should use a separate page for this wait wait i'm gonna get a separate page for this one okay so there we go there we go we got a separate page right here so let me tell you one thing about mouth it completely depends on your character's expression they could be happy and the mouth's gonna be like they could be sad and the mouth's gonna be like they could be like joyful they could, i mean that the weird smiling thing in anime <laughs> no i'm sorry okay i didn't mean it to be i didn't mean to be mean okay i don't want to be a meanie so and then of course it's gonna be like this wait doesn't that look like sakuna nah 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 bro nah bro i'm not gonna say that okay now in some animes for some reason you got this little heart shape right here that for some reason depicts some mouth i still don't know how it works but it just works somehow also it's, if your character is saying something at this particular moment it's gonna be different like if it's saying "ooh," your mouth is most probably gonna be like uh, an open area like this or if the character is silent and saying nothing at all then it depends on expressions serious expression you can just use the sad use the sad face or of course you can just lower the curve a bit and then of course the extremely happy and now here are some faces just telling you just in case you want the knowledge and finally let's go back to our hinata now she as i told you that heart shape that's her current but it's just a bit more not the curvy way okay not just the curvy way okay so we got that we got that thing down of course a little down area like that that just depends on your character and then of course we got the face the jawline to be more specific now in this area it's gonna be like covered with hair if you're drawing a female character so we're gonna just ignore that for now let's just draw hair right there like on the both sides just so we don't get confused here also i just noted this side is gonna is getting completely covered but let's just talk about this side now because we're drawing a female females usually tend to have a softer area like this but of course it's gonna depend on your style and males they go out like a more stiff but let's just let's just say that we are drawing a female draw like here draw i recommend you to draw both of them at the same time that kind of helps me out and then of course the soft c shape here that females have okay there we go finally this area well, let's just say it just depends on your character it doesn't matter it it doesn't really matter to cover your forehead but of course it's going to be like a million styles and i can't cover all of them this area the upper area now what i usually tend to do is just from the eye to over here circle circle and the upper area of circle is gonna be traced and kaboom we got that nice and shiny with that our short tutorial on drawing faces comes to an end hinata looks like hinata and i'm gonna finish this artwork and show you guys later in a post and for now i gotta go to sleep hope you all learned something new today and if you did please make sure to leave a like share and subscribe and if you didn't then go watch other tutorials or rewatch the video because you gotta learn something bro and if you think you can imply this knowledge then get your sketchbook and start drawing also please consider that i did give you the basic knowledge however it's completely up to you to do the practice and finally learn it because you know practice is what what's gonna make you better at this not just watching a tutorial and with that our tutorial today comes to an end this is me strange official hope you all enjoyed thank you and bye bye